I'm Cristina Cedres de Pedro and I am the Birds on the Edge project officer. Birds on the Edge is this partnership between Natural Environment Department, the National Trust for Jersey and Durrell, which was formed to save uh, local endangered birds in Jersey from going extinct. Yeah, so a few years ago we got concerned about the low numbers of puffins in Jersey and we decided we needed some fresh research to find out what the causes of the low numbers were. So I spent the last few years um, studying the population of puffins along their neighbouring other seabird species, but also the threats that they face here in Jersey on their breeding grounds. We did find out that their breeding grounds are threatened by introduced predators that humans brought to Jersey a long time ago, such as the rats and the feral ferrets and the odd cat potentially. So we looked into the solutions for this problem and realized that we needed to protect them physically with a barrier that would stop them accessing the nests of puffins and other protected wildlife. Sadly, we only have four pairs of puffins left in Jersey, down from a bigger population of two to three hundred pairs that we had in the early 1900s. If we don't protect them now, we know that they are heading to extinction within our lifetime probably. So now is the time to act to save our puffins and other endangered wildlife that lives on those cliffs. The puffins are what we know as an umbrella species. So once you protect that species, the puffin in this case, you're protecting the whole community that lives with them. All the native wildlife that lives alongside the puffins on those cliffs, other seabirds like razorbills, could be stone petrels, could be manxia waters. There are also land birds like stone chats, that for warblers, and we have local reptiles like green lizards, slow worms, and small mammals. They will all, all of them are under threat and all of them will be protected when we protect the puffins. We want to encourage people to enjoy our wildlife as much as possible and the safest way to do it and the easiest way in this part of Jersey is to follow the coastal footpath. So we have created a trail where people can find different spots to stop and they know what to look for in those particular uh, stopping points along the trail. So because the National Trust is a charity, we rely on the support of members to help us protect habitats and the species that live in them. So by joining us, you will be helping us save the wildlife of Jersey and their habitats.